Hey y'all, happy vlog day. Jazzy baby was laid off after returning from FMLA. For no power to the people, stay black. You know someone looking for a content creator? Hit me up at the job for seven years. Healthcare is facing its own pandemic, you know. Happy vlog day. I made the greatest iced coffee. I've been off on my coffee. I've been missing it and not actually missing it. I've been literally, well not literally missing it. It hasn't been hitting, you know, but I got it right today. I did. I swear, I haven't made a good iced coffee until I was laid off. I mean, since I was laid off, and that espresso is going to my head. I have not made a good iced coffee since I was laid off. Uh huh. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. I realize I'm behind on my vlogs. Why? Because I haven't been doing the vlogs. But we are today. We are. <sighs> Let's get into it. If you follow me on social media, uh, well, this is social media. If you follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Facebook, or if you're a subscriber to my website, exojrwellness.com, then you are well aware Jazzy Baby was laid off two days after returning from FMLA, returning online, because it was a remote job for my non-corporate peeps FMLA, that's medical leave. Let me tell y'all how this went, okay? Okay, you guys, so it is two days after MLK Day, right? The specifics of that day has nothing to do with anything, but you know, power to the people, stay black. Anyhow, it is January 19th, two days after MLK Day. Well, okay, it's January 18th, one day after MLK Day. I logged back on, I was on FMLA for three weeks. Two days after that, January 20th, your girl was laid off. In addition to about 41 other people laid the hell off my former job was a remote position so everything was done online when i saw the email and mind you i had no clue about it at all the team lead she didn't say anything so of course the supervisor didn't say anything or give any type of heads up or warning none of that at all you know they just carried on we moved some of your files since you were on leave, which made sense, I knew that, they always do that. So when you return, all the new files, you start, you know, completely clean. You don't have to jump inside the, or jump in in the middle of anything at all. You can start fresh to avoid confusion, right? So I was working on reports helping other employees until I received new files and if I believe some of this out it's because I slipped and said something specific related to the job so just an FYI on that but it's not any like any specific information or it's not me going off the hinge like I hate you so none of that I'm just making sure I <laughs> bleep out any specific information I accidentally say okay so it's Friday January is my phone doing do I no so it's Friday January 20th two days after I returned from FMLA okay it's about, I want to say, 11.30ish, I received an email, and it's an invitation to a meeting. Now, a quick backstory. Last year, the company did quarterly layoffs. I kept in touch with a few people who were laid off and asked how the process was. So on Fridays, I never spoke to anyone because <laughs> I'm like, when the hell is a, you never knew when another layoff email would go out, you know? But on this specific day, two days of me returning from me medical leave, that's the last thing on my mind. So when I receive the invite, I look, I open it up right away. I said, oh shit, I'm about to get laid off. So I check the email. No, I checked the invite list to see who else was on there just to be sure. And it was just too many people from different departments in there. And I'm like, ain't got nothing to do with y'all. No one gave me a heads up about a project or, or being on a, what do you call it? Um, like the beginning of a, 
of a new process to test it out. I forgot the word for it, but I wasn't given a heads up about anything. So immediately I told myself, girl, you're about to get laid off. So we baby Jesus. So I went back to look at the list. I checked the names again and a few names on there. I was like, damn, is that person getting laid off too? Like, I don't know. Is this a layoff email? Then I was like, nah, this is definitely the layoff email. So I contacted a few people on the list via messenger and said, hey, check your email. We're about to get laid off. And some of those people hadn't even seen their email yet. And they're like, what were you talking about? How do you know? And I'm like, oh, well, because I'm about to get laid off too. And, you know, it was just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, what's going on? Like, I can't believe this. Is this really what this is? Of course, I don't have my contacts in. So I told them, I said, well, yeah, like, take a look at the list. What are we doing out of all of that? And so I called my parents. I said, you guys, I'm about to get laid off. And they said, same thing, how do you know? I said, well, I received an invite to this meeting with a whole bunch of people I have nothing to do with. The team lead isn't in there, but the supervisor is and supervisors from the other department. So this has to be it. So my parents being who they are, giving me, you know, positive vibes, like, well, maybe this isn't it. Maybe, you know, there was just some changes with something when you were out, you have no idea. I said, yeah, I need a me right now and I appreciate the positivity, but I'm going to go by logic and I'm pretty sure this is the layout because it was checking all the, um, it was checking off the, all the boxes from when I contacted other people who were laid off. Friday, before noon, a bunch of random people in the department and the supervisors, you know? So I was just like, okay, I'll, I'll let y'all know. And I actually filmed the beginning of like my reaction of getting laid off. Hey friends, so I'm pretty sure I'm about to get laid off right now. So I'm just waiting. So I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm not gonna lie, I had a what the fuck moment, like, damn, like, this was turning out to leave me off, like, what? So, it's time for the call. And with this system that the company used, you would, if you're, if there was a meeting, you could access the meeting right away, you know what I'm saying? But for this particular meeting, it was like Zoom, you had to wait for the hostess to allow you into the meeting and so i was like oh yeah this is the word i'm about to get laid off we're all about to get laid off and a few people messaged me and said hey i see you're on the list for that meeting are you able to get in i'm trying to get in i said yeah no we're about to get laid off so they have to make sure everyone's here first so like what how do you know i was like oh because you know when pe other people are laid off i asked how the process was and this is exactly it so that was my confirmation again there's some names on the list when i was just like holy guacamole y'all really getting laid off too and sure enough we gained access to the meeting and right away you know supervisor starts reading their script and then hr starts reading their script and all the things and so hold on and that was it that was it it was a very short meeting everyone's oh and when we gained access to the meeting everyone's cameras and mics were turned off there was no option to enable it everything was disabled you only saw the supervisors up there on the screen and that's that's how it went and that was it so before i logged off on the company's lappy i I am a couple people who I enjoyed working with, like not even friends, but you know those coworkers who you just really enjoy working with. I messaged a few of them and said, hey, I wanted to make sure you heard it from me. I was laid off. I was part of the layoff crew today, but thank you so much. I enjoyed working on our files together and F, Y, and Z and a few coworkers who are also friends and I have their personal phone numbers. I text them as well just so they can hear everything and they were all supportive and there was out of my department there's one person who contacted me she's been so sweet we've been talking weekly because she sends me notes from her church and I just love the notes so much because I recently started reading my bible and yeah that's that's how it went oh and I had a few people from other departments contact me 
on social media, send me messages. They've been hella supportive. And, and I've also received friend requests and, you know, LinkedIn shows you who views your pro LinkedIn profiles. I've seen that. It's like, are you guys scoping out on something? Like, what are you doing? If you want to wish me well, just wish me well. But it's like, you know, when there are a pattern of views going on, it's like, okay, you can just ask me anything. But yeah, who's that? But yeah, that's that's how it went. That's how it went indeed. And I've had a lot of people ask me how, you know, I've been feeling. And honestly, I've been feeling perfectly fine because I always made my job work for me, you know? And <laughs> I'm laughing because I talked to, hold on. I talked to my brother earlier, Rob, and I was telling him I don't feel like I lost anything. I always made sure my job worked for me. He said, hell yeah, because I don't, every time you said you was working, I never believed you. I see you with my own eyes. I'm like, what the hell? You ain't really working. What you do? <laughs> and so it's because I made my job work for me. So I don't, I don't have any regrets, whatever. I wanted to do I made sure I did it if I had something to take care of that came first I would send an email text hey I got an emergency I got something important to take care of years ago before we started working remotely I had something really important to do and that important thing was meeting Dwayne Michael Carter <laughs> I said oh I hope everything's okay like I never lied and said oh it's an emergency I said something really important I need to go take care of I got a jet early because I wanted to beat traffic I was living like an hour or no I was working an hour away from the location and so they were like okay no problem like we hope everything's okay I would they're like you look nervous I was like oh I'm so nervous but I know everything's gonna be okay I just need to get to my destination and you know what I'm saying so I'm not telling y'all to lie <laughs> I'm not saying that at all though it sounds like it I'm just letting y'all know you got to put yourself first because when I first started working in corporate America, mind you, I worked at the job for seven years. When I first started there, I had the mindset, oh, no, I can't have a desk job and all this and that. But as I worked there within the first month, I realized why corporate America has such a bad connotation to it is because the workers allow themselves to come second come third to what they want they're at work all day you know and it's their choice but if you can take control and do exactly what you want to do that's it you know so i blame the workers for giving corporate america a bad connotation someone asks you something like something extra you don't have to say yes you can say oh no i don't have time for it i don't have the energy for it or hey no that actually is more suitable for you know name that person in that position who's actually under that job description that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying but that's that's when i realized like oh i can also juggle a corporate america job because i know i'm never gonna allow this job to come first and i was always now mind you i'm not saying I didn't appreciate my job because I definitely did. That's how, hold on, where's my brush? Where's my brush? That's how I stayed afloat during COVID. Listen, I faced zero financial issues during COVID. My former job was in the healthcare field. So you guys know that <laughs> that was explosive right there financially for everyone in the healthcare field. And I'm not being insensitive to the people who lost their lives during the pandemic or face, you know, serious critical illnesses. I'm speaking truthfully and from a healthcare field, it was great financially. So now healthcare is what I like to say facing its own pandemic you know COVID's over you don't have any hospitals with an overflow of patients who are in need of traveling nurses to appear left and right it's it's none of that right now so the numbers are low it is and a lot of agencies they've been doing layoffs and they have to decrease all the COVID hiring they did now was I hired during COVID no I was there for seven years and so also keep in mind money talks you know so a lot of these oh not businesses all businesses corporate america included 
their rent, you know, finances are always going to make those, they're always going to lead those decisions, you know, and depending on what your pay is, you may be on that chopping block next, you know what I'm saying? So that's, um, that's my layoff story, but I do appreciate the people who reached out so much. I made sure I let them all know, like I'm totally okay. I've received countless, countless, countless offers for references or I've had people just send me their personal emails and phone numbers. Hey, hey, if you want to put me down on anything, you can definitely do that. But anyhow, I've been doing extremely, extremely, extremely well. Because one thing when you have a job in corporate America, and I know this goes for any job, but basically any job that's not your dream job, you cannot allow it to come first. Because two things are going to happen if you're laid off. One, you're going to think back to all the time you spent working, all the overtime or the time working where you were not getting overtime. That was never me, but I know people who did that. I absolutely do. You'll regret all that. You'll think back. Oh, I remember when I canceled this because I decided to work. Because when you work remotely, you do actually end up working more. Because I would tell people like, hey, make sure you still take your lunch break. Like go to the freaking bathroom because in office, a bathroom break could turn into an hour and 10 minutes easy, easy, but depending on who you see going to the bathroom, who you see in the kitchen, someone decides they want to go to Starbucks. Oh, now you got to go and tell your whole department you're going to Starbucks. Oh my God, do you guys want to order? Put your order in. I'll come back in. You know, things like that. So I tell people like, okay, you're home. It doesn't mean like you have to absolutely stick to the lappy all day at work. That's not the case at all. So yeah, one of those three things that happen. One, you'll think all the way back and just regret all the time you spent. Or number two, you'll be like, okay, you'll be like me. Like, all right, well, you know, that happened. It's the end of the chapter. It's time to start a new chapter. And that's why I don't regret anything at all. I always put myself first. And then also my job was helpful in a lot of ways. And what a lot of you do not know, very few people know this. My brand, XOJR Wellness, was actually born at my corporate America job the first year because I didn't have my personal lappy. I didn't have a computer. So I would stay inside. It's kind of hot in here. So that espresso hitting me, girl. Let me drink some water. Did I sound like I was out of breath, you guys? If so, it's the espresso. Oh, God. And let me tell you, I'd be killing my makeup without my contacts, too. But, um, yeah, XOJR Wellness was actually born at my corporate America job. I didn't have a personal lappy. I didn't have a personal computer. So I would stay inside during lunch. I would stay after hours just to work on my website. And I'll never forget this coworker dies who still is subscribed to my website. When he noticed I was staying around, you know, kind of late, he started hanging out too. Or he would come over and say, hey, I'm going to do a bit of overtime today. Are you staying? I was like, yeah. He was like, he'll be like, okay. Or if he would leave first, like, hey, make sure you don't leave too late. He was really kind and always supportive so he's the one person who literally saw my website go from a blank canvas to one picture to one blog um to like three pages until full subscriber list and all this so guys thank you so much he was he was the most supportive calmest person ever like if anyone watches this y'all knows guys would be like just chilling I'm like okay you okay leaving by yourself? Okay. Like, just always so kind. And I always appreciate him from that. So, yeah, I... Well. Can you guys guess who's calling me? Hi, Mom. Hey, Jazz. How are you? Say little neighbor. Girl, yeah. But let me... Look, before I get into that real quick, I was filming. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> so say hi to YouTube. Oh, Lordy. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> but, okay, I'm done talking to my mom. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was talking about dyes, how XOJR. Yeah, so XOJR Wellness, the brand was born at, um, uh, was born at the Corporate America office from when it was Jasmine Ray, my online modeling portfolio, and it evolved into a lifestyle and wellness platform, and then 
it evolved into exo chair where it was born there it was it was my brains and it was me but it was born there and then a lot of you know i was actually quite clueless about the field i never knew it existed or anything like that so i greatly appreciate the position indeed but the chapter's over and so now i am searching for jobs in corporate america a bit but i'm also not as much as people will probably think i am because the same what was it a a few days before i logged back into work i submitted for a casting for a commercial and i actually booked the commercial now the casting for this commercial wasn't all just modeling it was three different scenarios we had to submit for in the casting. It was three different types. I don't want to list them because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. So just to be safe, I'm not going to list them at all. But long story short, they were acting scenarios and not just modeling. Oh, take a picture in this. Go like this. Go like this. Show us expressions, you know. So once I finished, I was like, thought to myself, hey, this was actually really fun. Hold on. Let me do this. Okay. So, I really forgot where I was. Right. So, I realized I actually had fun with that. So, I said, oh, my God, Jazzy Baby, are you into acting, girl? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? So, I've been focused on updating my modeling portfolio, taking new digitals because now I have scars. So all my swimsuit photos, they're not that they're no longer invalid, but I need updated pics because now I have scars on my belly and my measurements are about an inch or two different around my waist and I don't look as muscular as I once did. So I need to take my updated photos. I took some headshots, acting headshots, and I plan to research a few classes in the area as well. But I am, you know, like I said, I'm searching for a job, but not necessarily corporate America because I still want to replace that stream of income just so, you know, I don't have to think every day, oh, I need to go do this. I need to this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm excited for what's to come. And because I am now interested in acting, I've been keeping up with 50 Cent's page because he announced that he that G Unit Productions will be working out of Louisiana. And so I researched the article on Google and everything. And he leased the building for like, I think 10 or between 10 to 15 years. And, and his I researched the article because his caption of the photo of the building on Instagram said, if you left, if you're from Shreveport, Louisiana, and you left home to get into the and it's entertainment industry, you may want to come back soon. And so the ribbon cutting ceremony will be April 21st through the 23rd or the April 17th through the 20th. I can't remember. So I've just been keeping my eye on his page so I can know is it just a ribbon cutting ceremony? Are you guys going to have some open castings? Because if I can go through G-Unit Productions and, you know, get into acting, I would absolutely love to do that I've been a fan of 50 cent since he was just 50 cent and not Curtis Jackson so you know that would be huge and his his book um hustle hard hustles hustle smart hustle hard hustle hustle something hey Siri hustle smarter hustle harder that's the name of it. hey Siri what's the hey Siri what's the uh -huh. name what's the title of 50 cents book Okay, I found this on the web. For what's the what's the title of yeah, 50 Cent? Yeah, I was right. Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. And so I, I've listened to that book for quite a few times. So I'm just keeping my eye on that because I think I've been, I'm like, oh, I think I like this. You know, even the submissions, you know, I introduce myself and I get into it. So, oh, and so in addition to booking the commercial, the day before I returned online, I signed a contract to be a content creator for different law comp, um, different law firms, different law companies with a company that works with different law firms. So I've been enjoying that as well because the content I have to create for them is helping 
with the acting because there are different people that I have to be and I receive a script and I have to memorize that so it it helps with that a lot and you know I had a meeting with the few of the with the creator lead who you know gave me some good feedback and she's an actress and she gave me good tips on that as well so everything's going smoothly not that I expected anything different it's just I'm satisfied with all the decisions I've been making and I'm talking pre layoff as well just always keeping myself first not putting my job first because you know it's we have one life to live you know what I'm saying so I made sure I was you know top tier at my job I could do it in my sleep and you know traveled I've had that lap laptop uh on a on a plane and the airport on a train shuttles I had it all over the place but I was getting it done like what's up what's good hey let me call you at this time my schedule times with the people y'all better answer the phone because you can't talk to me later but <laughs> but it was great indeed so I'm I'm satisfied with how everything has been going so far I don't regret anything at all and you know that's that's about it because honestly and 2021 my family and I lost five family members you know and so that year I realized understood and accepted that we don't have control over anything not at all not at all not at all y'all know the last person I was involved with which was my first heartbreak which happened during 2020 as well even then I was like okay we don't have control over anything we don't everything will go as it should and that's that's how it is without a doubt so i'm super excited about what's to come i'm working hard posting my content scheduling everything making sure i don't burn out making sure i get in the habit of getting six hours of sleep i've really been pushing for that without a doubt getting back into my regular schedule of working out making sure my body reacts to it and i'm just excited it's just so many different things are happening before my birthday and i'm already so thankful i'm so blessed what else so if you know someone looking for a content creator hit me up because i'm still working on replacing that specific stream of income and um oh and, and just to go back to what what is it i know it's a bible verse i know this from Jalen hurts you may not understand now but you will back in 2023 when the company started doing layoffs i kept saying oh let me put my lashes on hold on i can't do that one on camera all right got my lashes on i'm not into anything major today so i just put on really tiny lashes corner lashes my camera slide down a bit but where was i so in 2023 when the company first started doing layoffs and they actually ended up being quarterly layoffs so those layoffs are really like oh my gosh like what i kept saying sweet baby jesus you have me ducking and dodging these layoffs I don't know why, I don't know what I'm doing, but I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Little did I know. Hello? No, thank you. I'm not a homeowner. The address on Northeast 2nd is a college. I don't own Barry University. Can you take me off the list, please? Alrighty. Oh, when, yeah, so when they were doing the layoffs, in 2023 i kept saying you know sweet baby jesus i don't know what i'm doing but you have me out here ducking and dodging these layoffs thank you i appreciate you so much well, you know i know he was probably thinking girl you're about to have a surgery you're about to need a surgery that you don't even know about yet and that's exactly why he made sure i wasn't touched in 2023 and i say this because i actually was able to afford my surgery because of corporate america there's this program long story short any unforeseen expenses you need to well you can submit for and after i had my consultation with my surgeon and you know realized i could have the surgery within the next week and a half two weeks but the amount i definitely couldn't afford it. and i told them that that day like actually don't lock in this day i just know i can't afford this today but i will call and let you all know and 553 i applied and i mentioned this in the surgery vlog i applied through the program friday at 553 and i kid you not monday at like 207 
I received an email that, you know, it was approved and my next step was to set up my payment information. And when I saw Zelle at the op as an option, I said, these people serious? What? And I did it. And I was like, hell yeah, Zell me, baby. Zell me, Zell me. And that's what I did. Oh, let me make sure I get this. That's what I did. And I called the surgeon right away. I called the office and and told him, hey, I, I want to lock the date in and I was able to do it. So, you know, everything for a reason. That's exactly exactly why he kept me around because I needed that surgery and surgery was complete. And I was like, okay, now we can release corporate America. So even that thought of it is like nothing can, you know, I've had a few people ask me, are you seriously not mad at all? It's just I have too much to be thankful for, you know, just <laughs> way too much like to one and be able to afford my surgery two well being it because okay one thing about the surgery i refuse to get in debt over it and i refuse to owe anyone money you know understand and it was it was just awesome it's like there it is right there like let's <laughs> let's get this done and that's why i'm always so thankful for it so like i say i don't it's not that I didn't appreciate my job. It's just I made it work for me. It's the end of a chapter. God said, okay, we're, we're done with this here. Let's let's go to what I have next for you. Enjoy the journey when you find out what it is. You understand? So I appreciate it. I absolutely do. And so, oh, also, I forgot to tell you all, which you guys may or may not know, but I forgot to mention this in addition to the commercial and what I've been updating. I forgot to mention, I also created an ebook, turning the page so you got laid off, now what? I had zero plans of creating an ebook about this experience, about this process, but one night on the couch, I was prepping an email for my XOJR subscribers, and you know, it just flashed in my head, create an ebook. And I was like, oh damn, because the once you're laid off, it's a, listen, it's a process, a lot of research to do of what I should do, what, you know, I shouldn't do. If you get in a severance package, how to calculate that and making sure, you know, it is correct, how to negotiate more personal insurance, checking out the COBRA finances. It's just so much to do. And I, I did a lot applying for unemployment, seeing how ridiculous unemployment rates are, you know, so excuse me, there was a lot. So I took note of everything I did and I created an ebook and it's on my website xojrwellness.com slash shop for 10 bucks and I'm so satisfied with it. I'm so so satisfied with it and just looking back and I'm like yeah 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 so it's a guide to help people who are laid off. It can also help you if you are concerned about being laid off and just wondering what your next steps should be and I've actually been thinking about creating an ebook uh, preparing for a layoff. It would have similar information, so I would probably make it like five bucks or something because the current ebook is just ten dollars. So I'm considering that because it would be a lot of the same information, just different verbiage. So I'm considering it, haven't decided at all. But it will be helpful for you if you're, you know, if if this if I saw that ebook and this was last year when the job was doing when the company was doing their quarterly layoffs. I would purchase that. And by the way, they never announced they were doing quarterly layoffs. I just kept note of each layoff they did. And I realized, okay, this is a quarterly vibe for sure. So that's that's about it, y'all. So all is well. If anything, you know, if you go through something and you're like, oh my gosh, you can feel how you're, you want to feel, you know, it's going to feel as if you aren't good enough. But just know. It's not that layoffs happen all of the time. Don't let it get to you. You are allowed to feel however you feel, whether you're mad, sad, disappointment, disappointed, feel betrayed, any of that. You're allowed to feel however you do. However, don't sulk in those feelings because the, <laughs> the company ain't sad. They're definitely going to figure out how to do whatever work that you thought you just could not put second to what you wanted to do personally. That's the end of the story. Heck, they more than likely figured it out before you knew you were even getting laid off. You understand what I'm saying? So it's okay. I just want you to take from this, put yourself first, baby. As my parents would say, you're the point man. Absolutely. And that's why I'd be like, hell yeah, I am. Uh-huh. Indeed, indeed. So 
should I just oh, throw all that curl in and I pin my hair after all that. I need to condition it because it looked kind of dry. Oh yeah, I put like some extra dye on there. I had to do a color correct today, but I forgot to condition that part. So it's looking dry. I'll do it later. Not now, but that's, that is all baby. And so for the rest of today, I need to go through some mail and I purchased an organizer from Amazon. It's just a little file because Jazzy Baby has medical bills. Oh, you know what? That was one thing I was annoyed at by being laid off. Well, one, because they laid me off two days after returning from medical leave. Two, I was laid off before I started receiving medical bills because I wanted to submit that through the program again to get some more financial assistance because I'll never turn that down. So that's about it though. It's not the major, but anyhow. Thank you guys so much. Am I going to end the video here or should I keep vlogging or what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want to take my stuff downstairs. I can set up in here. The sun looks good. It's 5.03. Oh, we have longer, longer days now. We spring forward. So I don't have to rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and film in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, we're good. Should I add some highlight? No, I'm not going anywhere. I don't need to add any highlight. Okay. So yeah, let's go. And go through this mail. I gotta search some medical assistance programs. Cause the bills aren't outrageous. It's just I haven't replaced that corporate America income yet. So logically i would get assistance so i don't put myself in a hole because your girl's still paying rent you know website fees what else life groceries i haven't been shopping though i'm proud of myself i have financial control and that's something else i discuss in the ebook financial control budgeting um what else Financial control, budgeting, unemployment. I mentioned calculating your severance package. If you don't get a severance package, uh, city and government contacts to help you out, you know, give assistance, all that, all that, all that. Oh, whether you've been laid off, whether you just want to support your girl, xojrwellness.com slash shop is where you can find the ebook. The link will be in the description as well. Now let's do some organizing. Go ahead and do that. Is the sun too bright, y'all? Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. Time to organize these bills, open some mail. This is the Sky Do Office Supplies Organizer. Professional office product supplier provide a variety of practical practical office items focus on product quality and customer experiences simplify people's lives. Oh the shine and shining, yeah. I've been losing my mind. But okay, just a little bit, just a little okay, that's cool. Alrighty. So I'm gonna put this back in here. This will go in the trash. Sweet. This is cute. Make things happen. I know that's right. Make things happen. Aww. Now, I'm not going to write on here right away because one, I'd rather do that with dry erase and I don't know how I'm going to organize it just yet because it's mainly for medical, but maybe I should use it for a bit more. Let's see. A bill. The bill area is going to be the largest. Oh, now I'm getting my hospital bills. Okay. Okay. So maybe I'll organize it by hospital. Oh, yeah, by like companies. Like, oh, this is, oh, they gave me little tabs. Okay, I'll do this last. I'll write this last. That's perfect. So, okay. Yeah, so this one will be... That's a large total. Definitely gonna request for assistance here. 
Should I tell you guys want to know how much my hospital bills are? Okay, one amount $64.80. Another $567. This don't need it. And the thing is, I thought it was going to be one large bill, but they've been sending them individually. Like one was for anesthesia that went through my email. One for uh, the pre-opt. Another for... Wait, what is that 500 for? Or actually, I think that was the full surgery amount. I don't know, I'll put on the screen what the 567 was for. Don't need this. Oh, post-op, I mean pre-op. Oh, this baby is sealed. This is, oh, this is my full hospital bill right here. Damn. Shit, I wanna pay this one first because I'm so happy about it. 157.26, my entire, my insurance covered basically 20, 23,000 because there are two insurance adjustments on there. But the amount I owe, 157.26. So I'm going to put this over here. <laughs> Sephora, this is always a fun one. It's my birthday and I'm going through this. Y'all be sure to, <laughs> hold on. Wish me happy birthday by sending a medical bill payment. Feel free to do so. Venmo, Zell, everything's Jasmine Rain. Have cash app to buy my ebook. All in here. Definitely be going to the shredder today. See now this, another from my LLC. The date is April 30th, $400 fee, but then the annual renewal here has $299. So the other one had, what, not $289. So I'm going to have to look back at that. FMLA stuff. Anyhow, I will wrap up this vlog of you know, me getting unemployed and, uh, or me getting laid off as my brother Rod would say, nah, you got fired. Same thing. <laughs> it's so funny. He's actually the reason I'm filming this today. Cause I was like, oh shoot, I really need to film it. So I got to it. Anyhow, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next vlog. I'm not done yet. My goal now is, well, in a, my goals are like, include a bit more I was gonna say larger but that's not the correct term I have more goals because now I have an interest in acting so my goal get back into modeling update my portfolio really dive into acting because there's a joy that I felt and realized that hey this this deserves to be analyzed a bit more so keep in mind when you feel that joy when you're doing something new and take a moment and say hey Shit, I really like that. I really did. So my camera is dying. I may have to switch to my cell phone and start talking. So if it looks different, I apologize. So get back into modeling as I've been doing, updating my portfolio, really dive into acting and, you know, discover whatever that feeling was. Make sure I keep an eye on 50 Cent's profile. Expand as a content creator because I really do enjoy that as well and start Oh, and oh, this year, this has always been my goal from this year. I've only told this to LaToya, but to travel with an intention to expand my brand, not just, oh, I want to go here. No, I want to go somewhere with an intention and attend content creator events, attend fashion shows, attend brunches. I want to do more and be sure I become exactly who I know I am. Ciao. And I know I'm already on the route to do that. It's just now I'm interested in acting. It's like, okay, so much more goes into it. You have a lot to do. I have my hands on a lot of things and I just want to be sure I remain focused and give each area my full attention. I know people say, oh, you can't focus on more than one thing. You can. You absolutely can. And I know I'm on the right path and I know sweet baby Jesus is right here holding my hand, has his hands on my shoulders. Like, girl, you, you got this. You're just right there. It gets tiring. It gets exhausting. But each night I just think, Sweet baby Jesus for the energy, the inspiration, and the motivation to continuously work on becoming the person I want to be. Ciao.